What's up guys, Quizzy here, bringing you guys part two of the model banner, or, or header, whatever. Um, so, as you can see, I went back to the original render I used, um, just because that's easier. Um, and if you're forgetting what we're going for, this is the final product. So you can see all the changes we're going to make here. Um, so, a few things you're going to need. Um, you're going to want to go to my channel and download my 15k pack. Um, and you're going to want to get some sort of explosion and some sort of planet. And if I remember, I'll put these two uh, images in the description. I'm not sure if this is the actual explosion I used in my original one, but I couldn't find a better one. Um, so yeah, but um, let's just go ahead and get started. Also, there's a color correction that I'm gonna include in the description as well, um, just because it's been so, uh, so long since I made it that I don't wanna recreate it uh, and mess something up. So I'm just gonna give you guys a download for it. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and create a new layer above our render. And if you notice, I have our render in a folder called Scene. Um, that's just because I like that. And then uh, the color corrections in a folder, or just it's just in a group one folder, no specific name. But I'm going to hide that. And I'm going to hold uh, Option and click that to make it a clipping mask. And I'm going to go to my brush. I'm going to make sure I have white selected. And I'm going to go get a soft brush here. And I'm gonna go in and color in around all this. Everything but the main ship, I'm gonna brighten up a little bit, uh, essentially. All right, and we're gonna put that on overlay and decrease the opacity a little bit. There we go, everything's about the same opacity. Um, if you're wondering why everything else was darker, it's because I used a brighter material on the original render by mistake. And everything else was a bit darker, I didn't really like that. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna merge that down now. So Command E. I'm gonna call this Render, just so it's easier. Um, and there's a bunch of effects you can go with here. Um, first of all, you gotta figure out where the jets and things are going, so like the jets I mean like the I don't know what these are called but like the light behind the ship that powers it forward so the TIE fighters don't have anything but the X-wings and um, like the Millennium Falcon do, uh, does so that was the first thing I went about doing um, so I'm gonna create a new layer I'm gonna put it below the render and this one's just gonna be for the Millennium Falcon so I'm gonna have white I'm gonna have a soft brush Bring down the opacity a little bit. I'm just gonna go right around like so. A little too far. And okay. See, it's not really even. Actually, let me get the blue. I'm just gonna do it with the blue a while. So the color of the um, jet. I get. I think it's called jet. I don't know what else you'd call that. Like the boosters, whatever. Go ahead and go blue right away. That's much better. Again, I think I went a little too far. I'm just gonna kind of put this part back a little. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna create a new layer and again make a clip masking on that blue layer now and then get the white. And put it like that. There we go. So, pretty simple booster. You can add more detail if you want. That's basically all I did. Like, there's not much to it. Um, I did even a little less, and I also added a little bit of blue on top. So let me go ahead and do that. So create a new layer above the render, make it a clipping mask. Let's go ahead and get that blue. Actually, it can be a little lighter of a blue. And just kind of go like so. And we're gonna decrease the opacity a little bit. There we go. So it shows a little bit of just glow, which works nicely. Um, <clears throat> and then for the X-Wings, there really isn't much. They're kind of like dots. Let me see if I can show you an example. Um, so really, they didn't show up on the actual banner itself. So I'm actually not even going to bother showing the engines. But uh, we'll do something with them later on, as well as the TIE Fighters. So I'm just going to leave that alone um, and go straight to the um, main ship. Okay, so we're gonna create a new layer again below the render. 
And we're going to do like the same thing. So we're going to have that blue. Um, actually, we're going to make it a little brighter of a, like a scion. Just give it a different color. Yeah, maybe make that a little smaller. And yeah, actually I actually have a better idea. I'm going to get a hard brush to make it about the same size. It's a little too far out. That works. Come on. All right, that works there too. And we're gonna go and get a the eraser and just get a hard eraser and just kind of cut out these sides. All right, and then we're gonna double click on that layer to bring up the op the blending options, and we're gonna go ahead and add an outer glow and pick a color and let's pick that scion and kind of expand it up boom and now hit ok and we're gonna go command u on that layer and bring up the lightness is it not wanting to preview yeah okay i want it to be white if you guys weren't getting that and let me just increase the opacity of the outer glow Maybe I did something else for those engines, but... No, they look... that looks like what I did. I don't think the uh, outer glow was that thick, though. Something like that. That's much better. Okay. I'm gonna click OK, and then we'll get back to the uh, flare type things later on. Um, that'll come in when we go to the 15k pack to get some stuff. Um, but let's just go ahead and um, set up the scene behind everything. Uh, I feel like that'd be pretty easy, uh, if you know what I mean. I mean like the planet and the stars and that good stuff. So I'm going to go click on the bottom layer and I'm going to go to our, spa or our planet. We're going to just drag this into Photoshop. And double click on that. And let's just drag it in and see what we can get. You can see it's pretty small. Uh, I don't know if this is the same planet I actually used in the original, so I don't know if the quality is going to be compromised here. Alright, that looks alright though. Uh, actually, that's really, really fuzzy. Um, but if I were you guys, I'd just suggest using a different planet. I'm going to set that on screen and sort of decrease the opacity just a little bit. And you can like change the color as well. Go to Command U and kind of get a different color if you want. I think I'm going to go with like a reddish this time. Just mix it up. Click OK. And we're going to go ahead and go to the uh, uh, ellipse tool down here. And we're going to try to create a circular match of this. Or fairly close. So maybe something like that. That's pretty close. Alright. And we're going to... Okay, we're just going to rasterize this layer. So right click. Rasterize layer. Turn the fill down to zero, double click, go to outer glow, pick a, we'll go with like a yellowish, maybe a little brighter, increasing the size, something like that. As you can see, I didn't really make the ellipse tool very well on this, I don't know why that just kind of glitched out, oh, it's because Come on now.
Alright. Well, I screwed up when I was creating this ellipse, but I, you guys get the idea, hopefully. And I'm just going to stick with that, because why not? Actually, it's kind of kind of bothering me. I'm going to increase the size a tad. Alright, good enough. Hardly even notice anything's wrong with it now. Okay, so boom, there's our planet. Pretty simple. Um, to create the space, like the little stars and stuff, really nothing complicated. You just want to get a, the brush tool, make sure you have white. And this is actually my brush pack. Um, so if you guys want to buy it, it's in my store. If you just want to download another pack, that's fine. Um, but you just want to create, get something with like speckles. So I think this one has some speckles. Or they're just like tiny dots. Like, something like that. That's perfect. And we're just going to decrease the opacity a little bit. Beautiful. And then we don't really want it. Um on top of the planet because this kind of would absorb any light close to it so we're just gonna erase anything there and there we go there we got a pretty basic space scene um i think i'm gonna actually go to the 15k pack now and get that stuff so let's go to it um first thing i'm gonna do is get the flare so actually let me check this flare. All right, so we want a flare behind the planet, and I'm so bad at picking flares. It's honestly one of my worst things to do. And I don't remember the one I used for the original one, of course. Come on, give me a good flare. Actually, I think this one might be able to work for us. Let's give it a try. I don't know. You can mess around with flares. I'm just going to roll with this. Probably looks gross, but yeah, there's no way this is big enough. We'll try it anyway. Let's see what we can do. Let's bump this up nice and big. And we're going to plop that about right there. And we're going to put it on top of everything. And let's just kind of race it around here. Not really sure if I'm liking this. Let's see. Let's move the planet and all this stuff a little bit. I don't know. It's not awful it's not spectacular either but then again i'm so bad with the flares like i said so i'm gonna gonna i'm just gonna kind of stick with it just because i don't know uh it looks it doesn't look awful and i'm not sure how to get a better result with flares i'd have to really play with it for a while um the second flare this is it we get uh flare 38 so that's the one with the rainbow and you can kind of create a cool rainbow effect that i really like so I'm just going to bump that up, rotate it, and kind of have it so it curves around the planet, like so. And that's kind of a lot of light in this area, but I'll just erase some of that a little later. I'm going to bring one over to this side, kind of curve it. Because who doesn't love space flares? All right, I'm going to go to the eraser tool, go to the original one, and kind of just make it so it's just a subtle line there. And go to the second one and kind of just make it like that. Let's see, that kind of looks good. Actually, if I put it there, it kind of works with the engine, so I'm going to keep that. Like that, we're good. Let's move on. 
Um, we'll go to uh, actually doing this this engine part. So I'm not actually, actually not sure what I use for this. Um, oops. Oh yeah, it was one of my flames. I don't know which flame it was. Oops. Let me see if I can get a good idea. I can't really. Uh, <laughs> actually, no, you know what there was? It wasn't the flames. Let's go to the 15 pack again and let's go to the shockwave effects. It was one of these. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. I believe this is actually the one I did use because it almost lines up perfectly. Set this on screen. Yeah, you can see how similar that is. That is totally the one I use. And we're gonna line that up like that, and let's just erase. Yeah, sure. Let's just erase all that crap, and let's change the color. There we go. Huh. Boom, pretty easy. Just like that, we are good to go. All right, so the next thing I wanna to try to do is have one of these ships be getting shot and exploding. Um, so let's think of one. And I guess we could probably do all the bullet insurance. What is that right there? I have no idea what the heck that is. That's, oh, that's part of the, let me erase that. That's a little too thick. All right. So, um, you notice we haven't included any of the lasers in shots and stuff. And that's because I'm just going to show you how to uh, create those. I'm not going to do it for every single one because it took so long to set that up. Um, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to save that for last. But, um, so that I had this ship exploding in the original one. Um, and one off the side here. Um, so let's. Uh, that one's kind of right in front of the planet. I don't really want to do that. But we're going to anyway. Um, actually, yeah, we're going to do that. So let's zoom in here. Um, grab the uh, pen tool. Make sure we have our render selected. And let's just cut off this wing here with the pen tool so just kind of go around this wing go up to selection feather radius zero control C delete control V and take it off so it's not a clip um, <clears throat> clipping mask come on all right there we go and we're gonna con command T and kind of just rotate it a little bit and kind of put it like right there. So it's getting like shot off. And then we want our explosion. Let's drag this puppy into Photoshop. And drag this on. Hopefully this is a equally as good explosion, if not better, than the one I used. I think it's actually the same one, so that's perfect. All right. And we're gonna just kind of place a little bit there. Actually, that's pretty good. That looks solid. I'm just gonna duplicate it though. For the fact, we kind of have it shoot out there. Get the eraser tool, kind of buffer out there. All right, cool. So that's pretty simple explosion. And if we want, we can uh, go create a new layer. Go to the brush tool again. Get some particles. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Still, okay. Let me zoom out. Um, that's what I was trying to do. Alright, um, you put like that right there. Boom. So, you know, I don't really like that. I wish I had a smaller brush of particles. That'd be probably really handy. Do that. Alright, and I'm just gonna erase 
All the stupid sparkles. Let's kill. Wait, it's a little too much. All right, cool. That, that's like a very subtle effect. I don't know if you'll actually pick that up. Um, let me see this one if you can actually see. Yeah, you can see the little particles around there. Um, that one is a little better. I think I used a better brush on that. But um, obviously you guys are, can just use whatever brushes you want. If you can pick from anything. Um, yeah, so I think I've covered most of this. I just need to get to the, uh, the laser like the shooting and stuff. Um, so basically I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail. Um, you kinda have to know, like if you're making a Star Wars banner, you obviously need to have some Star Wars knowledge to know what ship shoots what and what not. But to create these lasers, it's really quite simple. You get the uh, brush, get a hard brush, make it about two or three pixels, I think. Maybe a little more. Let's try five. Yeah, we'll go about five. So I'm just gonna create a line about that long. Double click on it. Go to outer glow. And I go just pick like red. I'll put the opacity up. And maybe if I put the opacity on normal, I think that's what I did. Yeah, there we go. And voila, it's a red laser. Now, it's a little hard to see red on black, so let's try, like, if we did green, it's green. If we did blue, it's blue. Um, yeah, it's really hard to see on the dark background, but uh, you can also do the inner glow if you want. Uh, I don't think I did in mine. I think I just stuck with the normal just blue outside or whatever. So you can just do that and then you basically just orient, orientate it. So if I was making this gun on the ship shoot, kind of set it up like that. Maybe align it a little bit better. And even though these have two freaking, um, uh, what you call it, two oh, barrels. Um, I only had it shoot one uh, laser. Uh, and for things that are farther away, so obviously this is probably closer than that, so I might want to like shrink that down a bit, make it smaller, just for perception. Boom. And then you kind of just repeat that process throughout this. And I'm not going to do that because obviously that's going to take a lot of time, and I kind of want to just get to the point of this whole tutorial uh, and show you guys the final product. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to delete that and we're going to finish this banner without the lasers, which kind of sucks because that's like the whole thing. Like the lasers kind of really make the whole project, as you can see. Um, there's actually a lot of like weird blurs on this that I never really noticed before. Um, yeah, okay, sorry. Um, now, now we're going to go to the render and get everything that is associated with the spaceships. So. Um, I'm trying to think what was this. Okay, so that's that. Select that all the way up into it's a flare, that's a flare. Okay. So up until here, I'm gonna group all this. And this is gonna be the ships. And I'm gonna command J to duplicate that and just move it on over. Just to add some more ships to the side there. And that's about it. We can do also do the same thing to the other side if we want. So boom, if you want more ships on either side, you can just easily do that. Not too difficult. Um, and I think the final thing when it comes to ships, which I should have done before duplicating that, um, is if I create a, a new layer here, I get the brush tool. Actually, if I get the pen tool, I want to go to all the X-Wings and TIE Fighters. And uh, TIE Fighters technically have like two streaks going from the tip of the wings, uh, like on each wing. I think it might be top and bottom actually, I'm not sure. But the X-Wings just have one line, so I just 
made like one line and I did this to each of them and then I went to my brush um, made sure it was on a soft brush and we can go about five that works I think Let's see yeah and then um, I just right clicked stroke path brush okay and right click deleted and then all of the ships would have this and then you just get a soft eraser brush and kind of erase the tail and then you can just turn down the opacity and that kind of creates a streak with all these and you just repeat that process throughout and it kind of gives it uh, the look of movement and finally there was an effect of some sort that I did to all these ships when I was done um, but I couldn't remember what it was to save my life um, so I'm gonna just duplicate all these merge them and some of the craps gonna look weird okay yeah like that um, I don't really feel like going through and, and, and that. although it's only it should only be one thing yeah let me just what was that layer called Yeah, okay, that's it. Alright, so now I'm gonna merge them all. Hopefully. I don't know. Some of the things that are set to screen are gonna make make their black background appear. So I kinda don't want that. But I for the most part I got it all. So I'm gonna go to filter, blur, and I think I did some sort of motion blur on this, but I can't I still can't remember. Um but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just like a slight motion blur, it doesn't really matter the angle. I'm gonna click OK. And let me just decrease the opacity. And that just kind of blurs. That's a little too much. That blurs some of the ships a little bit just so it doesn't look so crisp and like uh, stagnant. Um, and I think for the most part, that's everything you really need to know about that whole scene uh, up until the final filter parts. So to get the filter parts done, uh, let me just put everything into this folder. The filter, I didn't really go crazy with filters, so I just duplicated the uh, bottom layer there, uh, merged everything, so everything together, and duplicated again, Command-J, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, about two, Clicked OK. Got the eraser tool, soft brush, kind of brushed out the main points. So basically the Millennium Falcon and the uh, main ship. And then merge the two layers together. Duplicated it, filter, sharpen, sharpen more. And that's essentially the whole banner right there. That's everything I did. Uh, Maybe there was a few minor things that I didn't do, but that is essentially the same exact thing. Um, obviously, I didn't include the bullets and things, and I might have added a little more blur and whatnot. Um, and I could have spent a lot more time on this, obviously. Um, I think one thing I did do was uh, add a Gaussian blur to all the renders. Like when I added a motion blur, I think I added also a Gaussian blur. But I raced it on everything that was uh, like I wanted to be visible, but like smaller things I kept blurred out. Um, but yeah, that's basically the whole thing, guys. I hope you guys learned a lot from these uh, two part tutorials. Uh, I'll probably drop the PSD of the original banner in the description if you guys want. Um,